So as the saying goes, there are two things in life that are unavoidable, death and taxes. So what happens to the house and the mortgage when the spouse who signed the note and mortgage is the one who dies? Consider the example where the husband owned the house prior to getting married, or maybe the husband and wife bought the house, but because of the husband's credit, he's the only spouse who signed the promissory note. If the wife wants to keep the house when he dies, then she needs to file a probate for two reasons. Number one, get the probate court to give the wife title to the house since she may not already be on the deed. And number two, get the probate court to give her authority to speak to the bank on behalf of her deceased spouse. The bank will only speak to the person that signed the promissory note, not the people on the mortgage and not the owners of the house. So if the wife did not sign the note, the bank won't talk to her without the probate court's permission. Unfortunately, this increases the cost of saving the house because now the wife has to open a probate estate. Of course, the flip side of this analysis is that if the wife did not sign the note and does not want to keep the house, she can simply walk away and owe the bank nothing. We've helped many husbands and many wives in similar situations after the death of a spouse. We can help the grieving spouse consider and review all options, including probate, loan modification, short sale, bankruptcy, or simply allowing the bank to foreclose. If you have questions or find yourself in this unfortunate situation, please call or email us for a free consultation.